Hey everybody, and welcome to this third and final part of the uh, modeling and, okay, well, in this video, unwrapping for the Adrian Purcell chair. Now, in the previous two videos, we made uh, the model from scratch. So if you want to see how this thing was made, make sure you go ahead and check the uh, first two parts of this series. Now, in this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to unwrap this model. And for the UVW unwrapping, we will be using uh, the RISM UV and we're going to use the uh, bridge to help us get the model from 3ds Max to U uh, RISM UV. All right, so the way that uh, the bridge works between uh, models that are made in 3ds Max and uh, you want to unwrap them in the um, basically with RISM UV, you need to collapse all of the modifier lists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything that I want to unwrap. So this means uh, for now, I'm going to select just the legs, the sides here and the under carriages here. All right. So I want to go ahead and unwrap this first. So I'm going to convert this to an edible poly and Click on the RISM UV bridge and simply just send to RISM UV. This will automatically open RISM UV and it will uh, import our model in here as well. Now, let's start unwrapping this uh, whole thing. Now, one thing that you should keep in mind is that when you're making your models for rendering, you can reuse UV space. For example, this left side here and the right side is basically the same model but if you go ahead and just clone it around it will be very very visible and easy to notice that it's a 3d model so that's why it's always a good idea if you are able to go ahead and give it individual uv unwrapping which is what we're going to do here so that when later on we put a texture on it it is going to have unique texture. It's not going to be repeatable. Now, having said that, let's go ahead and unwrap this uh, thing. And it's going to be very fast because RISM is very efficient for stuff like this. Now, I'm going to select this, click on the isolate, and it will isolate uh, this model. Now, for the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead, just select the place that touches the ground with the feet press c that's going to cut cut it up over there zoom in over here do the same thing yeah we can do it like this but generally let's go and do it properly all right make sure you don't miss there we go select that c cut and now I'm going to go in, cut one in the middle in here. And one more on this side. I could have probably gotten away by just cutting one piece. Also, actually, let's see how this is going to look like. So I have this thing uh, as it is. So I'm going to select the entire uh, element, uh, the, the bottom here as well, and just press the unfold. They will automatically unfold the entire thing so if i put it like this it, it gives me one piece i actually don't like to have it in one so what i'm going to do is just going to go in and just put one more cut so now when i unfold it it actually looks like the geometry all right so i'm gonna back this thing together and now here's another thing that I want to note. Uh, when we were modeling this, we saw that the leg had the texture basically going from the left to right. And right about here, it was going up and down. Actually, it looks, let me pull this thing on the other side, something like this. We can see that the grain in the wood is changing at around here. So it's going horizontal here while it's vertical in this instance. So this point is something we can do here. Uh, in order to be able to see this thing better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 
down to files, click on load texture map. Now choose a texture that's uh, something uh, easily uh, to, uh, it's easy to see. I'm going to try something like Oak Natural. And in order to be able to see that texture that we just uh, loaded in, we need to press over here where it says Viewport Texture Custom. Now, by pressing that, it will show me how this unwrap looks like. Make it more easy to see. It looks like this. So by default with this uh, unwrap, this is what I have left. So I'm going to select this, press D, hold or hold the D and just uh, rotate around. until it gets to this point, something like this. All right. All right, so in this case, now I have uh, everything going downwards. Uh, we, we don't have to uh, go ahead and rotate this thing in the UV space right now, because later on we can simply go ahead and rotate the texture, which is going to be a lot easier. So for now, I'm going to leave it like this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and that line that we placed in, that we, we was going to use for the UV, is I'm guessing this line right here. So I'm going to make this thing go from both sides and just cut. So now I'm going to select both of these, hit on the unfold. That, that is going to separate it. So now I can move it around. So what this is going to allow me to do is now go ahead and rotate this thing around. So I'm going to deselect and now I can rotate this thing this way, rotate this thing this way. There we go. Now select everything and just hit on uh, back hotkeys. And if you hit on this thing, it will uh, get everything and it's going to pack it together. But if you click the one below it, uh, it will keep all of their current uh, orientation and scale. So it's not going to change anything, just going to pack it within the 0 to 1 uh, UV space. So like this now, we have that look where one is going horizontal, the other one is going vertical. In our case, with this texture though, uh, they are inverted, but that's not a problem. All right, so let's go uh, show. Let's do the same thing on this side as well. So again, isolate and do the same thing. I'm going to do it a bit uh, faster this time around because, well, no point in spending more time. So I'm going to cut right here and cheat a bit. Select above it. There we go. It shouldn't be a problem. One cut in there, one in here. Again, come on this side, here and here, cut, select the whole thing, hit unfold. All right, let's rotate these just a tiny bit, this way, this way, all right, so All right, now both of them are that way. So I just need to rotate this one horizontally. So the grain is going in a different manner. There we go. So select everything it here. That's going to pack together and unhide. So show everything back. All right, awesome. Now for these two, they're very simple. We can just add in one simple um, Cut, select there, hit unfold, and that thing is finished. Uh, I want this thing to be straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Align Straight to Map. And I'm going to click on this place where it says rect uh, rect Rectangularize Polygon Horizontal. So by just doing it that way, you can see that the texture is now very, very straight. Let's do the same thing over here. Cut. Click, unfold, and just make it like that. And that is fixed. Uh, for this one, again, we can do it uh, by cutting it manually, or we can just use 
some of the auto seams uh, UVs option. So uh, when we go over here, we have the automatic belt. And if I just click here, let me just isolate this thing so you can see it better. There we go. If I click on this button, but not changing anything, so cut and flatten after selecting edges, just click here, it, it will automatically uh, unwrap this thing, but it will give me a bit of a issue because if you see this small thing here, this is the entire uh, place over here. So like this, if I go hit unfold, it kind of is not in the same uh, size with this with these two. So I have to hit on pack and now it's going to make it so they are both the same UV size. So by doing this, now I can go back to here with the straightened uh, and aligned, click here and all of a sudden, boom, there we go. We have the wood without a problem, straight without any issues. All right, so hide or show a hide. There we go. Let's do the same thing over here. So again, select that, hit, there we go. It did the whole thing automatically really, really fast. So I'm going to select everything now. I'm going to go to back or actually I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to fit everything within here. Then I'm going to rescale everything so that they're all on with the same textile density. And now pack everything back together like this. Before we do anything else, let's just give it a quick glance. Make sure all the cuts are at the same place. We've done everything. This is going downwards, which is fine. This is going downwards. This is horizontal. Yep, everything works pretty much like it's supposed to. And the way that the bridge works, all you have to do is just go files, hit save. This will automatically close down everything and get you back inside 3ds Max. So once we are here, we now all of these have UVs uh, applied to them. Let's really quickly go ahead and de-isolate, open up uh, this or select this model, the seat, convert it to an editable poly. Let's send it back to RISM UV. And since this is a very simple model, especially since we added in the ridge here for the um, stitching, we can just select that inner stitch and cut over there. And I don't have to do anything else, but just cutting over there and hitting the unfold, it will automatically pack the whole thing together. So I'm going to make sure that this thing is rotated right. Hit it with uh, pack translate. There we go. File save. Everything is back in here. All right. So now. What I'm going to do is I want to make sure that everything works fine. So I'm going to apply a texture to all the elements, except the buttons because I haven't uh, unwrapped them. I don't think we don't really have to do it. And without the stitching. So all of these just apply the same thing. Let's apply a texture that's going to be easily seen. There we go. And from what I can see, this thing is UVW unwrapped without any issues whatsoever. With everything selected, if I put a unwrap UVW map on top of the whole thing, it will be uh, basically overlapping. So what we did previously here is one UV set and the seat is another one. So if we're doing it this way, well, we can't really do it. So we would have to go ahead and just use it like this. So now without the seat, everything that we did inside RISM UV has been transferred in here. There we go. So if we want to test out 
our uh, textures, what we would probably best, uh, what we would be best for us to do is, for example, I'm going to go and first of all check the textures for my seat by applying a simple textile texture to it. All right, I'm going to use a fabric one. All right, let's put it in here, make it visible. All right, increase the tiling five by five. All right, so I can see that the seat looks pretty, pretty good and really close to what I'm seeing in our reference image. So if we render this thing, it's going to look pretty similar to what we have over there. And now for our rest of it, Let's put on a, a wooden texture and just so we can check it out. Uh, we have some sort of a darker wood, so let's try mahogany, something like that. All right, mahogany looks, yeah, looks similar. All right, so we can see that even with the mahogany placed on it, Holly, there we go. We can see the horizontal lines for uh, the texture where it meets the vertical ones. And if we have a better uh, texture or some different, uh, let's let's try with something like a bit lighter so it's easier to see. There we go. So. A lighter texture will give us a better idea as to how the seams are going, but we can see that we have horizontal uh, going grain. When it comes over here, it's vertical. Over here, it's uh, looking just right. And if we want to change this, for example, if your texture has the grain going the other way around, all you can do is just come over here and rotate it for 90 degrees. And there we there you have it. Now it looks like uh, the scenario that we had while we were doing it inside Rhythm UV, where this thing was going uh, vertical and this thing was going horizontal. So depending on what sort of a texture you have, by just going ahead and uh, rotating it in here, you can get a pretty much different result. And for example, if some of these, for example, uh, like here, you want to have it in a different manner. What you can do is always just make two different materials of this one. It's called different one. And apply it over only on these two. And just for this, rotate this thing for 90. And now with this way, you basically have all of these going horizontally, while these two are the only ones that are going vertically. And with that, we are basically finished with this model where we created everything from scratch. We made the um, unwrapping with the help of Rhythm UV. And well, we are more or less finished. So I hope you guys had fun and you managed to pick up some new tricks from this video. If you would like to uh, support me, you can click the join button and the direct links will be in the description below. And the most helpful thing you can do is just click the like and subscribe buttons and uh, leave me a comment below in the video. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.